Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William. In this video, I would like us to talk about how to configure database notification in Filament PHP admin panel. So I have my dashboard set up with a demo user and I would like to have the user's resource which will assist us to do a quick demonstration of whatever it is that I would like us to, to have. So I'm going to run the command php artisan make filament resource user resource and I want it to generate the fields for me. So I pass in the flag hyphen hyphen generate and now our user resource is created. So if we are to refresh we will have it here. But I want to modify a bit. I will open up filament where we have the user resource and I scroll to where we have the form. We do not require the user verified at field. It is not a must for us to have it there. And then also email verified at. We do not need that one, probably. So that will be whatever it is that we have in our users. In our user's resource, we can be able to create a new user. We will hit new user and have name, maybe James, and an email for James, james at example.com, the password. If we click on create, this user will be created and we will get a normal notification. I would want on top of this normal notification, we also have a database notification that a user has been created. So uh, for us to be able to do that, I would like us to create an observer. So I'm going to run the command php artisan make observer and we will call it user observer and the model of that user will be so hyphen hyphen model will be the user model like that so we have an observer here our user observer and we will be working on the created method this is where i will be able to pass in our our, our notification because after the user has been created then this observer hook will be able to be initialized then we can be able to do whatever it is that we want here. But before we go into that, let us go ahead inside our filament um, service provider and include filament admin panel provider and include our database notifications. So here where we are in uh, the panel anywhere, we can be able to just have a chaining arrow and say database notifications like that and that will enable us to include database notifications in our admin panel after that i would like us to go back to our observer and now whatever it is that i would like to do is to just notify the user who is creating these new users that a new user has been created obviously if you want to inform more people you can be able to look through the user um, ids and be able to pass them in to create for all of them so what we are going to do is um, create our notification and what we will have we will say notification make then we will pass in the title and for the title we can be able to say new user created and then for we can also have the body of our notification and here you can pass some string some uh, string actually a lot of text if you want and then after that now we can change that it is a database notification so we can say send to database and we will pass in a recipient and this recipient is the person we would like to notify. So in this case, I want my recipient to just be the authenticated user. So that means the user who is performing this 
record creation in this case. So I will import illuminate support facades oath and I will also import filament notifications notification. So these two importations that are here and then we are there. We are almost done. The last thing that I need to do is to create the databases for notifications. So in this case, I'm going to run the command. So let me just clear this. I'm going to run the command PHP artisan make notifications hyphen table like that. And that will create our table for us. It will add the migrations. And then now we can be able to run PHP artisan migrate to create that table. On top of that, for the database notifications to be shown, you must ensure that you are running your queue worker because they will be sent as jobs. So I'm going to have PHP artisan queue work. And then from there now, I would like to create a user and then see if we can have a database notification. But, but even currently, if I'm to refresh, whatever it is that we added, admin panel provider, just by enabling the database notification, we have a notifications icon here and the count of notifications is actually zero. So let us go ahead and create another new user and see what happens. And so I'm going to create a user called Tim. The email is team at example.com and the password and then create. And now our user is created. We have the normal notification. We are not yet having the database notification. So let me check and see why that could be, what could be the issue. Yes, the issue is that uh, I've created an observer, but I have not uh, passed it inside the user model. So our records are not being, our observer is not working perfectly the way it's supposed to work. So I will open up models uh, user. And then above here, we will have um, observed by. And then inside here, we can be able to pass our observer class. So in this case, user observer class. Like that. And then we will import observed by the attribute. And then we will also import the user observer. So I will save and try again. So I would like us to try one more time to create a user. And uh, our new user, let us call him Tom. So you have Tom, and the email is tom at example.com, and the password, password, I hit create. Our user has been created. And now we have a notification. And when we check in our terminal where we ran the queue work, as you can see, we are having the database notification running. So in, in this case, that is the reason why we are having this. So if I click on this, you can see new user created and the message may be inside there is some string as I did pass it in our observer. And uh, so if you have more than one uh, person that you're supposed to notify, you can be able to look through as you send each single notification and that will be able to be represented nicely. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point.